what's up everyone and welcome back to my channel my name is keisha and i hope that you all are having a great as well as a blessed day today so this life whenever you were walking with god and walking in the purpose that is on your life um everybody is not going to receive you right there are going to be some people who you come across in life some people who you come in contact with some environments that you go in some even relationships that you enter into um even in the past we can speak on the past too because i know that a lot of people have experienced rejection even in the past listen everybody is not going to receive you they're not going to receive who you truly are your value your worth right they're not going to receive what you bring um that is a light in their life right they're not going to receive just you know your gifts how you are how you operate um for many different reasons and we're not even going to get into the reasonings behind why people reject you because again what other people do is not really none of our business because whenever jesus sent the disciples out he gave them instruction and told them that where they weren't received that they needed to shook shook shake the dust off of their feet which means that they weren't supposed to take anything from the place where they were rejected they were just supposed to keep it moving right on to the next and so using it for our own selves right we have to be careful for when we are rejected in certain you know environments or from certain people we have to be careful not to take their rejection with us right we have to be careful not to take their perception of who we are with us we have to be careful not to take the negativity with us and you have to also not allow someone's rejection or perception of you to change who you are you also should not let it dictate how you continue to maneuver in your gift because as long as you are operating and doing it the way that you know that god has called you to do it and that you are speaking and walking in your truth then then that is all that matters, right? You have to just move forward on to the next, right? You have to just remember that God is leading you and that he will lead you into the right rooms. He will lead you eventually into places where people will receive you, right? He will lead you into relationships, right? Where people will receive you, where people will appreciate you, where people will value you, where people will validate you, right? Right? But I think it's just the the course of life, right? It's just the the reality too of life of understanding that everybody is not going to like you. Point blank, period. And I feel like sometimes people, you know, are easily moved or shaken whenever somebody doesn't like something that they do or somebody has a negative response to something that they say just because they simply don't agree and again that's okay just know that it is not your place to please everybody we are not supposed to be people pleasers on this earth whoever receives you go with that don't spend your time and energy focusing on those who reject you or those who don't receive you or those who have some type of negative, you know, outlook about who you are, what you're doing, what you bring, however it may be, don't take those things with you. Only focus on who it is that is really for you, who it is that you are assigned to. As long as wherever you go, you fulfilled that assignment, you do, you did what you needed to do, you did your part, you was your best, right? That is, again, all that matters. Yes, rejection hurt, it does not feel good, but we, again, have to be careful not to take that within us, not to let that become, you know, how we think or how we move forward in what it is that we're doing or who it is that we are. Remember that God gifted you to do a thing. Remember that you are walking in this thing with God. And as long as you are letting God lead you and not man lead you, then you are for sure on the right track and headed in the right direction. And again, you will find your people, right? You will find um, those who are really and truly connected to you. It is just unfortunate in life that again, we are not assigned and called to everybody. It, that that's that's just the the bottom line of 
life. Like I say, it's not even just, you know, operating in, in God, but of course that's what I'm going to let the foundation be, but that is just a part of life. Like everybody is not going to like you. You can be speaking the truth. You can be, you can be bringing light. You can be so positive, but there is just going to be somebody and nine times out of 10, it's because these people are miserable. These people aren't happy. So they're going to find something, right? That is really, I feel like a, um, what's the word that they say? When people are projecting, right? It is something that people begin to project onto other people what they really feel and think about themselves. So again, that is why we cannot take it with us. We cannot take certain things personal in life when it comes to people not receiving us and not rejecting us because it plays a deeper part within themselves why they react or do certain things that they do. So you are a light, you are a gift, keep doing what God called you to do and don't let nobody stop you. Remember to shake the dust off of your feet wherever you go where you're not received.